Okay, this is Prophet Six, Family Prophet to the Angel of the Church to the Lay of the Sins. God bless you all. Um, have some things on my mind. I know it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. Um, it's like I, I have a whole lot of ideas for videos, and I think I'm going to start doing the Sabbath School class again. Another thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a a little class on Google Live, Google Video, YouTube Live, and uh, I'm going to do live streaming, and I'm going to do some little teachings, and I'm going to see just if anybody on my channel is interested. Uh, I'm sure I probably have lost many of my subscribers since I have uh, been 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 in a hiatus for some times now because I've been doing a lot of studying on uh, my heritage as an Israelite. And I've also been uh, studying some of the, the ideology of many Hebrew Israelites. And as I said before, I cannot see me joining any Hebrew Israelite camps, so they are called. I, I can't see that. That, that that's, that's not happening. No, I'm not going to immerse my family, my wife, my children into no Hebrew Israelite group. And I'm going to tell you why. I think they're kind of cultish, and uh, there are some things that I see that they do and teach from the Bible that just not true, and so so much so that I look at Hebrew Israelites as Christianity 2.0. Now, one thing I do I do agree with you, you cannot argue with this: the blacks that came over here on slave ships, we are the we are the children of Israel. We are the tribe of Judah. The vast majority of those slaves that came over here on slave ships, they are Judah. And if they wasn't Judah when they left, they, they got to be Judah now just by mingling among themselves. You see, so if there were a few Africans that were with us, well, they not they're not Africans no more. I mean, we've been here for over 400 years. You see what I'm saying? So they are fully immersed into us. They've been engulfed by us. So that I'm 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 confirmed to that. There are some things that they teach that I'm still looking over. There seems to be a lot of confusion among Hebrew Israelites concerning the name of the Most High, which I believe right now is Ahia. Now, some say Yeshia, some say Yah, and all of this. I get it, you know. And see, this is one of the reasons why I say that Hebrew Israelites is Christianity 2.0, because each each camp have their own independent doctrine. It's just like Christianity. You got the Baptist, the Lutheran, the Presbyterians. You got the Jehovah Witness. Even though Jehovah Witnesses say they're not Christians, they really are. They 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 are a branch of Christianity. Mormons, Seven Day Adventists. I mean, I mean, all of these people are basically the same. You know, and so uh, uh, the Hebrew Israelites are a higher level of Christianity. And but they 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 do have some they have a formative doctrine when it comes in teaching Bible teaching when it comes to who Israel is. You can uh, and that God is black. God is black. The son is black. The father is black. Now, that that's something you can't argue with. So. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because I saw some things, some some videos, and I have subscribed to this guy's channel, and I'm going to see what his the name of his channel is here. Uh, you know, now I, I I don't agree with everything that this guy says, but it it, it looked like all he does though really is repost clips of other of things that he's seen. So I'm going to. Uh, look at, I think it's called Nerdy Mafia. Nerdy Mafia is his, uh, is his channel. Let me see here. Yeah, Nerdy Mafia 101. Uh, I subscribe to this guy's channel. He, he has some really good information that he uploads. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put a link in the description of two videos I got to have you watch. One is on homosexuality. There is a 
scientists. Uh, I want you to watch this clip. The people, I don't know if you know this. Boy, I got a lot going on in my head. I don't know if you know this. I actually should be in bed. But when Obama passed uh, the homosexual legislation, you know what else was attached to that? Bestiality. If you don't believe me, look it up. Just Google it. Bestiality and homosexuality were passed. Did you know that? Nobody talks about the bestiality. I was stunned. I couldn't believe it. So I Googled it. I Googled it. And I think I might put a link to that also in my description box. So you can just click on the link and go there. Did you know that? Proposition 8 was about not just homosexuality and transgender. It was about bestiality, y'all. You know one well, you know one of the arguments that heterosexuals have been putting forth towards uh homosexuals is that the next step was bestiality. <laughs> and look what happened. Right under our noses, they passed it right attached to, mingled with homosexuality, bestiality. Hey y'all, there's one group of people on the face of the earth that are really into bestiality. And don't you know who it, the majority of these people are? They are Caucasians. I'm serious. There's a, one of the clips that I'm going to post. It shows this. In Germany, did you know in Germany? Did you know in Germany? Nerdy Mafia posted this also. In Germany, bestiality is, I think it's legal. And so my wife brought something to me. She said, you know what? That's interesting. She said, because the way people dress their dogs up and put tutus on their dogs, they're having sex. A lot of people in the United States, they're having sex with these dogs. They dress them up and put scarves on them and uh, buy expensive dog houses for them. Like, uh, what's her name? Uh, the lady who's uh, Trinity Broadcast Network with the pink hair. What's her name? Uh, I forget. That big family. And with the big eyelashes and stuff and the overdone makeup. Y'all, these people are having sex with dogs. Now, I'm not saying that there are no black people or Hispanic people or Chinese people having sex with dogs. All I'm saying is that the majority of the people that are, the legislation is basically for white people to do this. It really is. White people are having sex with dogs, y'all. I was looking at the video I was looking at on this guy's channel. Somebody in the video said that they saw somebody. No, it was a comment on his channel. And 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 the, and the video is a is a dog licking this man in the mouth, not on the mouth, in the mouth. They are tongue kissing. The guy's tongue, and it's a white guy. What is up with that, y'all? And then they got in, inside the video. They got three men standing, sitting around, being interviewed on a national network. Talking about, you know, love is love and that they love their dogs and they love having sex with their dogs in Germany, y'all. The, and there's another video. The reason why I'm making this video is to tell you about these two videos and to let you know what I've been doing. I'm still in the land of living. I'm, I'm in construction again. I'm still in construction ever since uh, April, May, June, June. Ever since June, I'm in construction. And so I'm trying to fight through this winter and, and stay in construction because, boy, every day, because today we had our first snow and, oh, boy, it, it snowed. And I'm working up in Hinsdale and uh, got up there and we had to shovel snow for about two, three hours. I mean, it was a lot of snow. And uh, but then later on in the day, we went to to frame a basement where it was warm and uh, it had a heater in it and everything. So we went there. But anyway, uh, I'm just I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling and I'm changing subject. Just stick with me here. 
So what I want to do is I want to, if you're interested in me doing a live Google, uh, not Google, but a YouTube streaming, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're interested. If, if nobody's interested, um, you know, whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. But if other people are, if there are at least two people that's interested, I'll do it. Uh, I, I don't know how many uh, subscribers I have lost. I'm sure most of them. But anyway, the other thing, and I am going, I think I'm thinking about doing it, uh, Sabbath school classes again. Okay. Reviewing the Sabbath school class. And I'm even thinking about doing those live. If there are any people that are interested in us studying the Sabbath school lesson, uh, on Mondays, Mondays. Yeah. Mondays. Uh, right now I'm, I'm working two jobs. Okay. I'm working at Walmart like four days a week. Uh, part time, and then I'm doing construction five days a week during the day. So I'm 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 out there, I'm out there burning it. Uh, so Monday, uh, and you know Monday, Sunday, maybe Sunday, because Sunday, I don't have to work in the daytime. I only have to work at night at Walmart. So Sunday, I could, uh, yeah, Sunday, I could. Uh, do it too. Just let me know when you're interested. If you're if you're interested, and we'll you know take it from there with whoever contacts me. Uh, the other video I want to tell you about. Let me tell y'all. Th Thanksgiving is coming up, y'all. Thanksgiving should never be celebrated. It is a day of Satan. It is the day of Satan. When you see black people celebrating or acknowledging Thanksgiving, they're celebrating being slaves and don't know it. They're celebrating white people killing off Indians. That's what we're celebrating. And you know what white people always say? That's the past. That's the past. Well, why y'all still celebrating Thanksgiving? Don't you know the reason why the first Thanksgiving was celebrated was because they had killed Indians? And then the same white people who say, well, that wasn't us. I didn't do it. I didn't kill the Indians. Well, you celebrating Thanksgiving. You're celebrating the death of Indians. Do research. You know what? There's some videos I'm going to give you because in these videos, they have research that you can look up and, and verify. S Thanksgiving? Christians celebrate. Black people celebrating. Oh, Thanksgiving? Oh, God. I never knew. White white teachers in your in these public schools making the kids uh, draw turkeys and have no, 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 no. I'm glad my kids didn't have to go through that because they were homeschooled. All of them. Yo, you don't celebrate. Yo, Thanksgiving is about genocide. Thanksgiving is about raping and cutting off the breasts of women, slamming babies' heads against rocks and trees, and feeding them to dogs, wild dogs. That's what Thanksgiving is. Killing off as many people in these manners, in these different ways, and then after you kill them all, you celebrate Thanksgiving for taking. It really should be called uh, thanks taken. And the God that they're thanking is Caesar Borgia, the white Jesus. That's their God. He's a demon. Caesar Borgia. Everybody look at that face of Christ and, and, and don't even know who he is. That guy is really Caesar Borgia, a guy who actually lived on earth. He's a demon. All the Christian churches acknowledge Thanksgiving. All of them celebrate Thanksgiving. All of them, Seventh Day Adventists. Now, Jehovah's Witness said they don't they don't acknowledge it, so I give them a pass. But all the mainline Protestant denominations, they all celebrate Thanksgiving. Don't you see that these churches are that's where the devils are? The, the white man gave us Christianity, he gave us Thanksgiving, he gave us Halloween, he gave us bestiality, he gave us homosexuality incest there's a researcher this other video I was one I'm gonna put a link to this is a black researcher at UC Berkeley and he is a he is he is a chemist some type of chemist chemist or something like that 
And he blew the whistle on this company, Sergenta, I think it's called. I forget the name of it, but you'll see the video. And they threatened to kill him because he found research that shows that the herbicide that they were putting on corn, guess what it did to frogs, y'all? It turned the male frogs into women frogs. Can, can you believe it? This guy's been studying this for 15 years. This didn't just happen overnight. He said he saw where the male frogs turned into female frogs and the male frogs that didn't turn into female frogs and start create, uh, growing ovaries, guess what happened to them? The only ones that they wanted to mate with were male frogs. And he said he's not only just seen this in the, happen with amphibians, with, with birds and other animals. Wow. Snakes. Y'all, they have a chemical out there. They have a potion out there to make. Oh, oh, and they say that little children that are exposed to this chemical when the mother is pregnant, they have. They are susceptible to these things that happen to the frogs. Y'all, they're actually growing homosexualities, homosexuals. So when, when people are saying they are born this way, guess what's really happening? They are made this way by mad scientists in, in laboratories. And you know the scientists, the vast majority are white. These guys are demons. They're demons. I'm not saying all Caucasian people are demons. But... White people as a nation are basically a nation of demons. I know there are Caucasian people that are that that will rebel against some of these things. I get that. Let me give you something else. The most I gave me this revelation. White supremacy is not only the cruelty that they do to us. White supremacy is also them doing the harm to us and then they give us the cure. They nurse us. They, 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 that's what white supremacy is. So white supremacy is not, and, and I know when, when we need help, we want anybody to help us. I get all that. But y'all, white supremacy is also when the vast majority of the people that's doing the damage to you are Caucasian. And then white supremacy, the other side of white supremacy is this. When the only people that can save you or help you or deliver you or protect you, guess what color they are? White too. See, white supremacy, that's what it is. If the only person that can, if the person that's doing the most harm to you is a devil, and then the only person that can save you is a devil, you're between a rock and a hard place. Why do why am I saying this? Because there were some young men. There was another video that was on this guy's channel. And uh, about these guys that were put in prison falsely. And they were from Chicago. By the way, Chicago is the is the number, the capital of forced confessions in the United States. Prison. Oh man, I can't find this video. I want to find this video. It was a. It, it just. It was. It was. It was almost a tearjerker, and I'm a cry baby. I'm gonna tell you that. But uh, I didn't want this video to be long. Oh man. Oh, let me tell you something, y'all. If anything ever happens to the economy. And white people have to compete with black people for jobs. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to kill us. There's a long history of this, y'all. The, the, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, uh, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. You, no, you better hope the economy stays good. Because if it don't, guess who they come after? Black people minorities oh yeah 
There's a history of this. So don't think that, uh, you know, the economy going bad is just, you know, not a big deal. Oh, whatever. You know. No, no. That's almost a death sentence for us. Historically. During slavery. Not so much during slavery, but after slavery. At World War One, World War Two, oh man, all kind of riots. During slavery, there was no lynching. After slavery, that's when lynching started. Basically started. Nobody's going to lynch their car, lynch their property, and they looked at us as property. So that prevented the lynching. Uh, I want to... Man, if we gotta get this guy's again, I can't find him. I'm gonna, I'm looking for this one video. Okay, I'm just gonna click on this channel because I saw this video recently. Okay, I saw this video. Um, let's see here. Nerdy mafia. Let's see. Oh. Black kids forced to confess. This is a video on Nerdy Mafia's uh, channel. Hey, y'all. I forgot what I was going to say about that. I just lost my thought. That's why I'm sitting here like this. But boy, homosexuality, they actually, they actually got a chemical that can make you gay and change a pregnant woman's fetus organs that's why there's an explosion in homosexuality y'all don't y'all see that this thing is like blowing up well it's some white folks in a laboratory somewhere and you know who is going to hurt the most black people yeah it's going to do the same thing to white people but but they might even have it tailored to do something special to black people so, and when I say black people, I'm talking about Israel, the Israelites. Y'all, this is crazy. This is white supremacy. So don't think white supremacy is just people doing harm and lynching. And I'm not trying to undermine that. But white supremacy is also when the only system, entrenched system that can save you, is their system too. The reason why I say that is because this same company, oh boy, man, it's a lot to talk about. But this same company that produced this one, uh, they produced this one chemical, you will see the video, where it takes a it, it increases estrogen and causes um breast cancer. Well, the same company produces the antidote for breast cancer. Wow. And they white, y'all. They are white. These are white folks doing this kind of stuff. They own the banks. They own all the chemical companies. They own uh, all the pharmaceutical companies, the pharmacies, the, the everything. Insurance companies. They're making money hand over fist. The same people that's making these chemicals, they own the insurance. They they own insurance companies, y'all. So when you get cancer, guess what? They still get paid. They get paid from people's premiums. Y'all, this thing, this thing, this game is fixed. All the demons are have left hell and they're here. Not that there's a real place called hell, but all the demons are here, y'all. We look at them every day. They're on the police force. They they faces are on the money. They own the banks. They own the schools. They teach in the schools. The schools are named after them. These are the demons, y'all. Why well, wonder things are so rough. We work for them. They pay us. You see that? You see that? That's supremacy, y'all. They tax you to death. And then they pay you low wages. They employ you and you be thanking God for the job. Y'all, this thing is rigged. The only power that can get us out of this thing is of the most high, a higher, 
a shaw ahaya. I am that I am. So I'm gonna leave these links here. I didn't want this video to be this song. I supposed to be in the bed. I had to get up in oh early in the morning. It's eleven twelve. But anyway, y'all take it easy. If you're interested in uh, my online uh, class, uh, let me know. And uh, and if you're interested in the Sabbath school classes, studying the Sabbath school classes with me on Sundays and Monday, let me know. Or any other day, we're gonna try to figure out something. Uh, Friday is a good. Uh, Friday is not a good time because I'm bringing in the Sabbath with my family, and and, and and the daylight saving time is. I mean, as soon as I get home, basically the Sabbath is here because you know they messing with the clocks, and the time went back too. But anyway, you guys take it easy, and uh, and and make sure you look at these videos and check out Nerdy Mafia's channel. He has some good information on there. Uh, I don't know who he is, but he has some good information on there. Uh, you take it easy, and uh, may the most high bless you. Bye.